Hi guys, Alon Sage from Colts Boutique here and today we're gonna discuss pots. This is an Alpha, this is a CTS, don't matter the size, all pots work the same. Pots are basically resistors and the resistance changes as you move this shaft over here. Now, why do pots matter? Well, they do. Um, the first thing that we need to take into consideration is the value. The second thing is the quality. And we need to figure out whether our pots are linear or logarithmic. And it is very important to know the differences. There are a few values for pots. Uh, the most common ones are 250K and 500K. Um, they're used for uh, different pickups. Usually a 250K pot will be used on a single coil and the 500K are usually used on a humbucker. This is because the 250K uh, pots uh, tend to bleed uh, high frequencies from the signal and they're, they sound a little bit more linear when using them on a single coil. The 500K uh, produces more or actually le leaves more high frequencies on the signal so they're better for humbuckers that are usually uh, lower in their resonant frequency. There aren't many reasons for replacing pots and one of them will be what we just uh, explained for change of the tone. Another uh, issue that you might have with your pots are the uh, low quality of them. Low quality means that the value that they're supposed to have usually uh, isn't that accurate and the higher the quality and the more accurate the uh, values are. Sometimes you might get a 250k pot and it will only uh, uh, put out 180k resistance and sometimes it can go the other way and uh, 250 pot might give you 300k uh, of resistance in your readings. So the higher the quality the, uh, the greater is the accuracy and you really should think about uh, this subject. Another issue is the fact that some pots uh, malfunction and they make noise while using them. And the third and probably uh, something that most people aren't uh, aware of is the fact that pots aren't linear to the ear. And we have actually uh, uh, two uh, types of pots. Uh, one is the linear and the other one is the logarithmic or audio uh, pots. I usually use the logs and the audio pots. I like them better and this is what I use here. And the way they work is just a little bit different. The human ear tends to compress the tone as it gets louder so the logarithmic uh, pots usually exert more output as you turn the volume up and it sounds a little bit more linear to the ear although it's not linear mathematically and that's all there is to know about pots basically they all work the same and they all do the same job some do it a little bit differently, but the main issue is they turn the volume and your tone on and off. That's it. If you still have any questions and you are confused about this subject or other subjects, you can definitely write me a question and I'll do my best to answer you. Until then, subscribe, like, share and comment and all the best guys.